Ahoy hoy, my name is Dr. Sumerian, and today I'm going to play a game that I've been playing the hell out of for quite a long time, Seven Days to Die. Now, my computer's not the best computer in the world, so I've actually turned the graphic settings really down, and also turned the resolution down a little bit, so if you don't, if you're here for, I don't know, great graphics, then you may be a bit disappointed. Okay, I don't have a game started yet. Um, got a bit of a cough. I'm going to try and uh, edit those out as much as possible, but I'm going to go ahead and go over my uh, settings here. So I've got the difficulty settings set as low as possible because the uh, newest version of this game has become hard as balls. And uh, I always set the 24-hour uh, cycle to the maximum amount of time. I think everything else is the same except for a couple multiplayer settings in case uh, we end, I end up playing with somebody else, but right now I'm not. Uh, there's a couple of people I know that play this game that I might end up playing with. Some of them are even YouTubers, but we're going to go ahead and get the game started. And this is a test as well. I have no idea how well this will uh, record, but uh, we're going to give it a try anyway. Alright, well at least I started off in grasslands or forest. That's something at least. Alright, let's take a look around, see where we are. A look at the map, even though it's not going to tell me much. Um, actually, we may be very close to where I need to be. First thing I'm going to do is start collecting that. I've got to build a bedroll. Well, I didn't need that chrysanthemum, but I'll take it anyway. And with any hope, you'll be able to hear me above the sound of zombies. Bedroll, we'll go ahead and craft that. I've got a bit of experience with this game at this point. That's, uh, oh, that's not a rock. We're going to loot this in a little while, but not just yet. I need some... I think i got enough stone already. One second, we're going to punch this tree down. Yeah, that'll do. Yeah, they made this game a lot harder. And I'm going to pick it back up because I'm not going to need it here. They made this game a way harder. Um, which is why the difficulty level I have is... Yeah, I still need two more small stones. Thought I did. Oh, man. Usually some... Yeah. Close to these starter houses. There's another one. Yep. All right. Build that stone axe. And, uh, yeah, just generally, this is, like, very important to have. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get it started. Nope, don't need that yet. Yeah, see that? how much easier that is to get wood now? Ugh. Alright, let's get some more fiber together. And... Let's build... Everything we need. Gloves. Hood. Pants. Shirt. I think we're going to need more of these, but even if we don't, let's just pick them up anyway. Actually, I know for a fact we don't know what I'm thinking. Oh, wait. No, I almost forgot to make the shoes. What we will need is more wood, and we will need more stone. So let's just go get some stone while this is crafting. I need some feathers, that's what I should be looking for. Alright, let's wear everything. Yep, there we go. That's gonna start that, or not start, but finish that quest now, since I'm probably not gonna come back to that. Let's pick it up now. Uh, can we build the club already? Yep. This is gonna be incredibly useful. <coughs> To start with, that's going to be pretty much the only thing I use. Even though I've got to build a bow and arrow, which, you know, whatever, I guess. We'll build it. Probably not going to find much use for it unless we find maybe like a. I should say, well, we're not going to find much use for it. We still might find some use for it. Ugh, 
finding feathers is going to be the difficult thing now, really. Ugh, there's probably something somewhere I just completely missed. Just going to keep an eye out for it. Fucking feathers. Probably going to end up taking so long, but end up with the zombies spawn, and you get a little bit of time before the zombies spawn. Again, there's usually something you can find around the houses. Listen out for the zombie. Oh. Sometimes there's little things around the houses, but not so much here. I need some feathers. Come on, feathers. Oop, no, I thought I saw something in the distance. I was wrong. Oh, well, can't hurt to come up here and look over the horizon at least. What do we got? I oh, don't see shit. It's going to be funny if there actually was one and I completely missed it. Come on, I need a bird's nest. Calm down. Fuck me. Bird's nest is... Oh, fucking finally. Watch it only have eggs or something. Okay. Thank God. Yeah, it's important to finish these quests up if you can. Alright. Even if you're not going to use everything. Alright. I got my club, and I got my stone axe. Yeah, because these uh, quests will end up giving you about, I think, four? Yeah, I think it's somewhere around four uh, skill points. Gotta kill a tree now. At least I have an actual axe to do it with. Let me go ahead and finish that tree off. And we are going to waste our wood making these frames now because let's put that in there and put that in there uh, let's just put it on this other road here, it doesn't matter we're not going to stay here it's such a waste the way they have this set up but it is what it is I could probably get this wood back if I were to uh, chop at these uh, which I probably will end up doing before I leave. Wait, is that a brand new one? See, motherfucker, look how close that was to the house. God damn it. Ugh. I don't know how much wood I'm gonna get back out of this, because this cost me. Let me see. I don't know, we'll find out. Clunk. Is it worth it? I don't know. How much is a frame? Frame costs two. Cost five to get it out. I think I got four back. That's actually most of my wood back. Let's go ahead and do it. Yeah, we're gonna make this happen. Hopefully, you can hear me okay. I'm talking a little low because it's seven o'clock and everyone's still asleep. It's New Year's. No day after New Year's. And ah, oh, fuck you. All right. Well, well, that's working. I will repair this. I'm glad I get this back. Is stamina. I'm used to it not going back onto the hot bar, but it did. And then we're going to go into that house and we're going to loot every goddamn thing we can find. Because, if we're lucky, that house will not have any zombies in it. Alright, we need... Actually, let's get the campfire put together real quick. There we go. I got a bit of a cough. Uh, but, uh, other than that... And another one, really... I mean, I shouldn't complain. This is actually good that I'm finding them now, but... Uh, I don't know if I should go east or west. I'm pretty sure I should go east. After this is all said and done. And this house is probably falling apart. Which is fucking fantastic. Oh, no, I don't want that rotten meat. And I hear zombies, so there are zombies. And is that a deer? Ugh. Oh. I don't have a knife. It's really, I mean, it's still worth it without a knife, it's just not as worth it. Let's see if maybe we can luck out and find like a candy cane shiv or something in here. There's some sort of a hot, it's still 
close enough to the holidays that there sometimes are pieces of equipment in here that are useful. <coughs> no, and no, just glue, which is still pretty good. Empty, 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 and fuck. Ugh, is there anything on the ground? I'll run a little bit in this direction. I'm not seeing anything. I'll Huh. No, that doesn't. There's a type of thing you can find on the road sometimes, uh, which is a, basically like bones and gore. And if you hit it with your axe, you get some bones out of it. And this is a funny, this is a terrible thing about the uh, killing a deer like I want to do right now. I can kill that deer. And I don't even know if it's still here. It's probably gone now. I don't hear it. It's gone, as far as I'm concerned. Anyway. Alright. Zombies have started spawning, so... Or at least I think so. Might have just been that deer I was hearing. Motherfucker. No, when you're sneaking, you can't jump out of holes. That is not a deer, that is a fucking boar. And that is not something I'm going to deal with right now. <clears throat> We're going to back up. Entirely possible that this entire. I don't hear any sleeping zombies. You can usually hear them, so. Yeah, I don't hear anything. This is a terrible place, by the way. Just ugh, fucking god awful. Ugh, gonna overload myself with what's gonna happen here. Yep, there I am, encumbered. Ugh. Wait, are, yeah, already? We don't need this nitrate powder or lead just yet. We could probably drop it off. That's at least two slots open. It depends on if we find anything. Because I'm not going to drop stuff off unless I absolutely have to. i got to watch out for these holes in the ground. Nope, I just hear that fucking boar outside. Doesn't look like... Yeah, this is a fucking... I hate this starter house. You get a bunch of... There's a bunch of different kinds of starter houses. Like, watch this. <laughs> you know, I, I hit it with my axe and it won't break, but I fucking walk over it and it just wants to die immediately. Alright, I could build a campfire already. You might be, what am I doing? Well, beds, um, they break down pretty easily. At least this first half does. I don't know what this is. Eh, I don't need to steal that much. It's just a little bit. I mean, it's not completely unusable. We're going to go ahead and... Well, that works too, I guess. And we need to actually put the bow here on the off chance that we do end up using it. Yeah, alright. So there's nothing of use up here, really. Can't even pick up this candle, can I? No. The fucking boar, which I'm not worried about a boar, to be honest with you. Boar doesn't. <laughs> uh, the boar bowls me. But. Well, let's see here. That's Is that a curtain? No, that's metal. That's a curtain. You might be like, why do I need a curtain? Well, let me tell you. The fuck was that? Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't care about you, boar. There's the chances of me getting you in the. Uh... God, it's so tempting, though. 
If I can sneak up, can he see me? If I can get him in the head. Can't even hit him. Well, that solves that problem. Fucking aimed right at him and he fucking missed completely. Way to whiff, dude. Way to whiff. Alright. Fortunately, the refrigerator's already been looted by somebody. Probably that fucking boar. I tell you what. Alright, yeah, I know I'm encumbered. Fuck off. Uh, now let's hope this oven has a pot in it. It does. And we're gonna replace it with this nitrate powder. Oh, that's what was fucking scaring the shit out of me before. There's a deer out here. Well, you can run now because I can't fucking hit you with anything. Be nice if I could. Are you trapped? No. He got up. I ain't got no arrows, so fuck off. I don't know if this will actually give me a tire. I think it just gives you the plastic. It used to give you a tire, but it doesn't anymore. We're gonna go ahead and put that away. We don't need that or that or that. Or that. And we don't need that. There we go. That'll do me for now. <coughs> Nothing of use. Empty laundry basket. <coughs> Alright, well, let's open up this here toilet. That's right. And then we're gonna destroy it. Ugh. What's funny about this is that the jar is more valuable to me. What the hell was that? No, it doesn't matter. What the hell was that? Oh, don't. I'm gonna be trashing some of this stuff. Alright. Don't really think I'm gonna bother with that right now. And actually, we're gonna get rid of that. <sighs> Food poisonings. Mm, let's do it. Oh, nope, I forgot to get a can out of that. Alright, one way to solve that problem. Hope I don't get food poisoning from canned food, which makes no goddamn sense. Unless it's super long after the apocalypse is over. Alright, don't need that. And I'm pretty sure I need to go east. God, he sounds like he's getting his ass kicked by something. Not by me, though. Did I already open this when I came in? Apparently not. Well, no, it says untouched. It would say untouched. It doesn't say untouched, so probably I already have. Alright, well. Oh, that's what I fucking needed. Pick up some bones. And we get a bone shiv. And we're going to. We can't scrap that, unfortunately. Um, I don't wonder if we should just scrap that. Yeah, that'll be more than enough to do the thing. Can't use that as a weapon anymore, I believe. Nope. Used to be you could use a big old bone like that as a club. And I kind of want to pick up stuff along the way, but honestly, it would make more sense for me to just ignore it and come back later once I get to where I need to go, which is not here. Ugh, this is gonna suck. There's gonna be a lot of zombies along the way. Do I have the wood to make what I need to make when I get there? Yes. Need to have some wood, because that wood is going to make a chest, and that chest is going to get me what I need to get. And I am going to ignore a lot of loot along the way, because I am going to have to come back this way eventually. Yeah. There's a specific place I want to go. Is that it I see in the background? I don't think so. Hey, my first zombie. And it's a difficult one. Which is fucking fantastic. Hi, buddy. How you doing? You doing alright? Yeah. That's what I thought. No. 
You go to hell. And my first zombie kill. Oh, that works. I see some more in the background now. It's imp one thing I will be doing along the way is killing zombies, as long as they're not too far out of the way. Or particularly difficult ones. I might leave some tourist zombies alone, but this little lady is pretty easy to kill. Yeah. yeah. This is why I play on the lowest of difficulties, because whilst it is important to me, I don't think that's that's not the building I need. It is important to me to have a certain level of, uh, I don't know, the zombies should be easy to kill. There should just be a problem when there's a lot of them. Of course, in this particular game, I mean, they walk slow, so I mean, how would you deal with them in real life? Well, we're going to change to a walk here because I... <coughs> I'm likely going to run into... Don't want to go that way. Do I want to go that way? That is the question. I definitely don't want to go south. Now, here's the problem. I don't think this is the road I need to be on to get to where I want to be. But I don't know that this road up north is going to take me in the right direction. I could go over land, but then I'd be risking running into wolves and bullshit. I hear a zombie. And she sees me. Yeah, I'm coming, lady. One more head on to do her. Yep. Smack him on the head with a club, and you're good to go. Hey, there's another one. Awesome. The thing in this game now is that without... you got to level up. Why am I missing? Makes no fucking sense. Oh, God, I want to get in that car. It's got some good loot, probably, but... I think I remember passing by here in one of my previous playthroughs. This is a barn. This is like got hogs and it's got, yeah, corn and hogs. Bob's boars. Oh, hey, slow down. Listen, lady. I don't got time for this. Yep, there we go. And that's a barn. Like I said, there's probably lots of good stuff in here, too. Whoa, what's over here? Yucca fruit. And blueberries. Wait, do they have a little bit of everything? What else do they have? I thought they just had corn. It's corn, corn, I think it's just a yucca fruit, which I don't particularly need. Oh, there you are. It's like what I was like hearing a zombie but not seeing a zombie, so I'm like it's a tweaker, for lack of a better term. Looks like he's crystal meth zombie. Yep, this way I'll be backing up in the direction I'm gonna be going anyway, and not losing progress. Oh come on. Like I was aiming for that motherfucker. Oh, this guy's a little bit more difficult if memory serves. He's got a bit more hit points. Hey, buddy. <coughs> but yeah, you gotta get. You really gotta level up now in this game in order to do anything. Which is funny, because if you level up, you actually increase the difficulty by a lot. No, well, I guess it wasn't as difficult as I thought it was gonna be. But yeah, you increase the difficulty of the actual game by a whole hell of a lot. That looks like a. That's a skater zombie off in the distance. I'll take this here main road. And I think... Yeah, this is a... Uh-oh, somebody on the ground. Those I tend to avoid. They tend to be able to get to my legs before I can get to their heads. Well, I mean, I tend to avoid them, except in as much as I can shoot them with arrows. 
Which, I don't have any arrows. I probably shouldn't be traveling without arrows. Well, at least some, you know, even if I'm planning on using them. Anyway. Yep, we're going to try cross-country. Yep, I just had a coffin fit. God damn it. Listen out for wolves. We need at least to make a few arrows. That's an easy one over there. No way, it's, if it's a stripper, it's funny, because if it's a stripper, it is not an easy one. Yeah, it's funny, most of the female, I don't know if it's funny so much as it's odd, but uh, most of the female zombies in this game are pretty easy. Not all of them, there's the fat mama, but if that's a stripper zombie, can yep, yeah, that's going to have to get blurred out. Can't get too close to her. She has no top. So we're just going to move on. Mm -hmm. You didn't see nothing. This may end up, uh, I don't want to get demonetized. Probably going to get demonetized no matter what, but, uh, Let's head towards that bridge. Hope I don't run into anybody in the grass along the way. I don't have to cross water. But I do. Alright. Going in a completely different direction than I went the last time in my test run, so I have no idea if I'm going to end up where I need to be. I feel like this is probably closer to where I need to be. But we'll find out one way or the other. Another good reason to have your day time set for as long as possible. I wish this was, well, I mean, it's not balanced for it. Because if you spend, that, if you if you had a whole 24 hours to play, you would actually accomplish way too much for this game. Ugh. I'm going to get demonetized if I show one of those stripper zombies with her. Uh, breath. Why are you so loud? What's wrong with you? I never understood why that one is so loud. I mean, they all make noise. Like, see, she made noise, but she didn't go. Anyway, the other one goes. Whatever. <clears throat> it's a little easier for me. Oh, fucking A. Mm, gotta reload. He's okay to kill... Well, if I can get him in the head. Which is not a given. Considering how he moves back and forth like that. Think any of my arrows back? No. Anyway, this little lady right here is gonna be pretty easy to kill. I'm tempted to hit her with the torch and see what happens. I've never actually done that in this build of the game yet. <coughs> Got a cough still. Oh, remember how I said I wasn't going to loot? Oh, man. That's why it's like, I can't give up duct tape. Oh, man. Steel arrows. And I don't have that many arrows. So, actually, here's what you're going to do. Gonna switch to steel arrows. We're gonna scrap these and should bring me back some wood. And that actually that'll do me for the moment. And we'll see if we can't get over this here hill and see if we're heading in the right direction or not. Hey there. Die already. Here's somebody coming up from the sides. Oh, there you are. What was that? Oh, it's a construction worker or a zombie. Ah! 
Actually, it sounds like there might be more than one. Then I hear other steps, but I don't really see the one guy. Oh, it's because there's. Oh, I've, I just heard him. It's a fucking pig. Come on. Yeah, that's right. It hurts. Well, that you pick up, because these are generally very valuable items. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and wear it. And we're going to scrap that. And then we're going to head up over this fucking hill, and we're going to see if we're in the right spot or not. Take that. Can't empty cans are useful. I could scrap them, but I don't want to scrap them because, well, no, I have a pot now, so I don't actually need empty cans for water, which is a strong positive. If you don't get a pot early and you can't craft it yourself, is that? I feel like I'm coming in the right direction now. This looks like it's right, which means looting is fine because I'm close to where I'm going to be setting up a base. I think if I just get a little bit further, I can see if I'm close to the farm or the hardware store. What's up, baby? Listen, don't want you to take this the wrong way, but, uh, you get ugly. Just saying. You get ugly. That's all I'm saying. No, this isn't right. Still not right. And ugh. maybe it is right. Oh, that's what that noise was. Yo, look like somebody got smashed in the head. Come on, come down from there. <clears throat> yeah, in case you guys were wondering why why I didn't end up doing videos. Ooh, I leveled up. Alright. Why am I not spending that point yet? Because it doesn't fucking matter. What I'm going to spend it on won't do me any good. Oh, oh, that's the building. It is it. We're here. Alright, well, this is half of this bullshit done. Now, we have to... Oh, let's get our stamina built back up. Can't take a swing without some stamina. This is where I'm going to live for probably at least the first couple of Horde Nights. Might not actually hole up here for the Horde Night itself. I'm not entirely sure. But, this is definitely where we're going to be for the moment. This is our base. And I have this particular place inside that I use. Do I hear anything? Can't tell. <laughs> Can't tell if that's me in real life or if that's zombies. All right. Now, you might say to yourself, well, there's an old, there was a time, like in a serious way, there was a time where I would have stealthed my way in there and I would have killed. There's two of them. Ugh. Well, they're going to hear what's going to go on down, what's going to be going down, so I might as well. Come on, farmer zombie. And this guy. I'm actually surprised I managed to get here without getting hurt. Nope. Come on. What? Oh, crap. Alright. <clears throat> now. You might, there was a time I would have gone here with my bow, just completely stealthed, and killed everything. And then I would have gone up to the roof and done the same fucking thing. Unfortunately, that is no longer really an option. Because the zombies are a bit tougher, and they're a bit more alert. So, we are going to do the other thing. We are going to deliberately wake everyone up. 
Yep, that's somebody from the roof. And I'm not gonna look. Yep. And as you can see, they are, um, let's just say they're wiling out and leave it at that. I believe there is a zombie right here for me to kill, so let's get started. Uh, and, added bonus here. They're gonna do all the work I need for getting inside. I don't have to worry about breaking anything down. So, you know, that's a positive. That is a fucking horde right there. They are not messing around. Alright, well... Looks like there's some people breaking out of the back as well. Huh. That swing actually hit another zombie and not me. Also, zombies sometimes throw punches while they're on the ground, so... I have been mostly careful to avoid this problem. But not with a hundred percent. Alright, ran out of stamina, so we're gonna wait. And then we're gonna jump forward. Oh, okay, I was about to say, didn't he die? That should have killed him. Oh, there we go. I thought I heard somebody behind me. This is what I was talking about with those other guys, why it was just a, useful to go ahead and take them out. Yep, there we go. And you are going to be a little easier. Come on. And where's this guy? There you are. Nope. <clears throat> Is this lady? I miss the times in the olden game when they used to just like sit on the ground for a while. Hey, dude. What is, how's it hanging, skater? Don't want to get too close to that roof. They could pop, there could be more up there and they could pop off at any time. I'll just hop right the fuck off. See that swing? I'm glad he missed me. Now that ain't everybody. Of course, that ain't everybody. Maybe even every, a little bit of everybody. I can still hear him in here. Yeah, there you go. How's it going, zombie? <clears throat> oh, almost let her hit me. Leave. He's going for that door. So let's let him go for the door. Ugh, sometimes it sounds like they're right on top of me. Even when they're not. You know, while we're waiting. I mean, come on, dude. What the hell? Do you need help? I mean, I'll help, but... I feel like, you know, you should be able to do this on your own. Help a zombie open a door, and you know you, you feed him for a day. Let a zombie open a door himself, and you feed him for the rest of your life. Well, there's more than one zombie in there. Why are they taking so long? Come on! I don't know if I could shoot through that door. All right, it's two skater zombies, so they lead with their head, but their hitbox is further back than it looks like. Oh. I can't tell if he's dead or not, because I got the XP boost at the same time as everything else. Now, there are likely sleeping zombies on the roof, so...
Yep. Come on. You want to come back for me, little buddy? Uh-oh. Crap. Jesus fucking Christ, there's three of them up here. I think if I aim this. Got him right in the fucking head and he didn't die. That's because I wasn't sneaking. Let's make sure. Oh, yep, yeah, there's another one. I think it makes more sense to kill this guy on his own because. The fight with the rest might end up keep waking him up while well, it didn't even fucking hit his head. Are we good? I think we're good. Ha! Steel arrow through the fucking head. That's what I. That's oh, the way uh, uh, I like it. <laughs> yeah, you can do a little stealth stuff like this when you've got enough open space for it. What's up, buddy? Just saw one come up off the side. Oh, more than one. I feel like I should finish this guy off. No, that one's dead, right? Yeah, that one's dead. I think these guys know I'm here, so there's really not much of a point in hiding. Come on. Now this guy's loud as shit. Listen to him scream. And finally, let's see if this is the last sleep this well, It's definitely not, because somebody's screaming somewhere. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go ahead and take that back. <coughs> go ahead and move back here so that I have time. All right, chest. <coughs> no, that would be fucking stupid. You know, let's move our, uh, our only medical gear right out of the hot bar. Just, you know, just in case I don't need it for anything. Let's turn this way so I can see if somebody comes up those fucking stairs. Not stairs, but, uh... Alright. right beneath me, whatever it is. Bed roll. <coughs> nope, I need those. I probably can get rid of that bone, too. Now we're almost done here. And we can start looting this place. It's usually a good idea not to get distracted by looting. I miss being able to run up and down ladders, though. 
Where's that coming from? It's probably coming from the bathroom. Sounds like, anyway. So the best approach for that is to come in from the front. Not too close to the corner. Now I got one entrance to go through. Ah, that's the problem. It's a crawler. And what looks like a nurse zombie as well. At it. And I think we might actually have cleared this bullshit out. I don't know for sure. Looks like some zombies. Oh, I did have a secondary exit because some zombies came out through that fucking way. Alright, well, we cleared out our inventory. I'm talking quiet for absolutely no fucking reason. Because it's not like they can hear me. I think we may. If there's anything left, it's in here. <clears throat> Doesn't look like there is. Alright, we're cleared. Except for something that might wander up and try and kill me that way. Double check in here. Yep, clear. Alright, whole place is clear. Let's go ahead and rob this place. You know, actually, just had a thought. We're going to finish this. Huh? Somewhat useful. And a lot of useful, actually. That wood's going to come in useful. It saves me some time. I have to pick it up myself. Those working stiff boxes, by the way, are super useful. Don't look like there's anything up here. Shouldn't be anything respawning up here, but you can't count on this game to do things right. Like, even if I put this down, which, let's see here real quick. This is what I was going to say. So the first thing I'm going to do is one, two, three. Right. <coughs> and you'll see what I'm about to do in a moment when I make a campfire. What was that noise? Alright. Alright, and now I have two things. First of all, we're gonna. Yep, I gotcha. Yep, yep, yep. yep. And then we're gonna put one point in that. One point in that, and we're going to need level 10 before we can do anything in that. So this is the totality of what we're going to be doing in the uh, this tree until we can actually... Yeah. <coughs> and I believe that's all my points. Yeah. So we're going to be able to build a bicycle if and when uh, we find either the parts for it, which would be nice. It's not guaranteed, but it has happened a lot for me. Or, if we can find... Let's see, we're going to keep that stone on us. We're going to keep some wood on us as well. And we're going to go down there, and we're going to finish this place fucking off. But first, actually, it's not going to give me the stone I need, so let's go get some stone real quick. I'm actually tempted to do it. You know what? I am going to do it here. This will give me stone. What is that noise? There's one. We need about. I think I need four? Yeah, I need four. We got the wood, we got the stone. Let's pick up the plant fibers. 
And you might be like, why am I knocking into the ground right here? Or why am I doing any of these things? And, you know, if I was a good Let's Player, I would explain it to you. Well, first of all, I wanna, I'm going to knock down this hole eventually, no matter what. So, that's a given. Oh, of course it needs repairs. Fantastic. I'm going to end up using more stone get, doing this than I am going to get out of it. So now I need two more. That's fantastic. I think if I scrap this, I'll get two stone, but... Yeah, I'm doing this to get stone. Uh, because I know it's going to give me stone. But also... Does this give me... You know what? Fuck it. Mm. Yeah, it does give you stone. Alright. Now that I've leveled up my ability my crafting ability, it's going to give me a better stone axe. Yeah, not that it makes much of a difference when it's a stone axe, but it's a better stone axe. In fact, I could probably remake all of my tools now. That was actually kind of risky, didn't have to jump from that, jump from that high up. Sometimes you get yourself a sprained ankle, but I didn't that time. This place is actually pretty fucking awesome because of these things right here. Working stiff shipping crates. These are amazing. Yep, see? What I really want is a stone pickaxe. Or not a stone, but an iron pickaxe. If I can find um, iron tools, like iron pickaxe, iron axe, all these other things, then um, I don't need to get to like level 20 before I can use them. <laughs> if you look at the uh, we'll look at the skill tree real quick, the intelligence skill tree, the hammer and forge lets you start using. You can make forged iron, but you can't actually make your tools until you're level 20. But if I find a tool, I can repair it with the forged iron I create. So I need an axe. Nope. Ah, steel. That's the opposite of what I wanted. <laughs> I mean, steel's nice, but at this point in the game, there's not a whole lot of use for it. I guess if I find a steel tool, I could repair it, maybe? Ugh. No, no, no. Starting to... I need an axe and a pickaxe. Uh, the sledgehammer's nice. Actually, probably going to turn into my main weapon here in a second. But... Not, not the perfect thing. It's not the perfect thing. God damn. Fuck you, stamina. Ugh, well, that's still better than not. It's better than nothing. There's four more crates to worry about. Every once in a while you might hear me go completely quiet because I feel like I hear... I gotta get used to this now because it's a slower swing. Yeah, I was making sure I still had some stone left in the off chance because this the main use I'm gonna get out of this is getting more stone. Yes, yes, that is good. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's gonna work for me. Now I just need to get an axe. That would be... That would be really good. I mean, I did pick up some wood earlier, so if I didn't pick up... Don't pick up an axe immediately. This is the sad part. I get the microphone running, so I can't tell for sure if it's me or if it's game noise. No, it's not great, but it's something. Alright. Plus, I don't know if you guys can hear it, but when I breathe, I sound a little bit like the zombies in the game. So every once in a while when I'm playing this game, I'm like... And I'm like, wait, no, that's just me. No, that's not great. Alright. 
One thing I'm really hoping for, even beyond an axe, is a wrench. That would be baller. Well, that anvil is actually not the worst thing in the world. Alright. I don't think I've grabbed that yet, right? Nope. Well, that's fucking useless. Hmm. Anything useful in here? Honey. Mm. Oh, and stew. That's actually... Ugh. A lot of really good things in there. That's another good thing about this base. Even though I've never actually used it, come to think of it, I've never actually used those particular um, bits. But it comes with a, um, what's it called? A, a vending machine as well, so. Oh, is that untouched? Yes, it is. But yeah, it comes with a vending machine as well, so. Um, you can, even if you don't, have the time. I, I don't know, I hate going into rooms with blind corners like that. You gotta check both, always check both corners. Always check both corners. Ah, oh, fuck. Sinks are the best places to get wrenches from, and I did not get a wrench. One of these is gonna be destroyed now. Yeah, I need those pipes. I don't need another pipe. I'm gonna go ahead and leave this one alone. Not that it matters, because if I'm basing out of here, the place isn't gonna respawn its loot. But, on the other hand, that's actually not 100% true, because I'm only basing out of here temporarily. Like, it's not gonna be my forever base, it's just gonna be. I thought that was a, thought that was a zombie. Get everything out of the front of the place. Oh, let's double check. Can't hurt to go back up here. But yeah, this is the like you know that thing where I ran around the place and tried to rouse everyone's uh, from their slumber. That is the generally the best method you have for surviving uh, rooms like. Because if you get in, could you imagine going into that closed in space? <coughs> could you? I mean, with all of those zombies, it was like I don't know. 12? Yep. So now I just need to get level 20, or not level 20, but level 10. And I can repair these tools. I don't know what that was. That's some sort of a skill manual, I think. Also, there's a farm across the river there. Uh, one of these days we're going to go up there. And by one of these days, but actually, we still have about four and a half hours to go collect some corn. Uh, what do you want to do? Ugh, no. Long term planning. Yeah, I feel you. It really shouldn't be. Oh, that was me again. That was real life. <laughs> I think? No, it's not. That's a zombie over there. Excellent hearing. Yeah, um, what am I doing taking down the ladder? Well, I got my reasons. I don't know how far these guys can jump. Uh, it used to be they couldn't jump. Well, in the only version of this I played before now was Alpha 17, and in Alpha 17 they couldn't jump. I should put some of my shit away before I do this. Um, but the idea is that since I'm going to be living up here, mostly, I'm actually going to be living down here, but you'll see what I'm talking about when the time comes. Um, yeah, since I'm living up here, <coughs> I don't really want them to be able to climb up. So the only way I want to be able to get in and out are using frames to create a stairway. Oh, wait, I have rebar frames. I don't have to worry about wooden frames. Just use these. I mean, I'm never gonna have to worry about getting rid of them accidentally, so why not? Yep, alright. 
And I'd be like, what do you mean rebar frames? What are you going to do with those? Well, the thing about frames is that you can place them. You can stand on them. And you can also pick them up. Unlike other blocks that have to be destroyed. So, that means... Whoop. This should be the last time I have to climb this motherfucker. Actually, I wonder if I should just use a sledgehammer for this. I feel like it's kind of a waste, but... That's how much? That was 80 versus... Uh, uh, 50. Yeah, it makes more sense to use this. For the stamina you said it's using? <clears throat> I'm worried about that dumpster too, so I'm probably going to take it down. Should be a little bit easier than these stairs. There's a zombie still. Wait, there's a lot of zombies all of a sudden. This is unacceptable. Ugh, don't tell me I already got a horde. Okay, definitely hear him walking now. Yep. What's up, homie? Alright, let's try this. Uh, okay, then. Yeah, that's why I was going to transition to that as my primary uh, melee weapon, so... Or at least for... Now. Yeah, if I can kill everything with one shot, that'd be fucking awesome. Doesn't appear to be doing the same thing. There used to be the higher your stamina was, the more damage you did to blocks, but it doesn't appear to have the same kind of effect that you once had. I don't need it, need it, but if I'm standing here, I might as well pick it up, right? Yeah. So then was that cotton, to be honest with you? Wait, oh, you can't just pick it up. I mean, I could have hit it with something, but... Oh. But yeah, you can do this. Just create yourself a stairway. And then you can pick them up. So, now, my main way of getting up and down from... Actually, how am I going to get down? That's the important part. Much slower method. I think that's what I'm going to end up doing. Yep. We're going to be able to have time to go get corn, is what I want to know. And I'd be like, what am I talking about? Going to go get corn. We'll see. Wait a minute. Yep, I almost killed myself. Well, probably not killed, but hurt myself. We're going to take these last two out. And then probably not bother with the rest for a little while. Do I not have any water on me? Let's go up and get some water. Yeah, gotcha, gotcha. Oh, don't have any. Okay. Well, you know what I'm going to do? I have... Hmm. Oh. I think I'm hitting the wrong one. No, that was the right one. Okay. I can deal with the rest of these at a later time. I'm pretty sure that no one can jump five blocks high. <clears throat> so, okay. My primary way's down. I've got about three hours left. Yeah. It's gonna be... And here's the thing. We don't have... No! Oh, that could have been bad, but it wasn't. Alright. 
I hear walking. Where are you? There you are. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Yep, that happened. Am I mostly empty? Yeah. I didn't die when I fell off. Think. F well, you're not gonna die. I didn't even take any damage, which is a little bit weird. Ugh. I don't know what I'm gonna do to solve this problem. That was me filling up some water bottles. Alright, we have two primary objectives right now. And I feel like... One, we gotta get cord. One, we gotta get corn. Ah, fucking A. Well, might as well finish him off. This is... I got the... Oh, oh, hey, buddy. I'm gonna kill you first, because I think I can kill you with one shot, and I don't think I can kill him with one shot, so... Just walk right into it. Fucking A. The second time I've been hit. All right, we got about three hours now. Let's go do our fucking thing. I'm gonna pick up some corn. That's the important thing. That's the most important thing I could be doing right now, is picking up some corn, turning it into cornmeal, and then I can make some cornbread. Pretty sure that's a basic recipe, so I shouldn't have any problems. And then I should pick up as much uh, fiber as possible. Because we're going to create a place to jump off on. Alright, how much... Do I need to make a hay bale? That'll make me two. Kind of good enough for now. I mean, it doesn't have to be... I don't have to... Eh. <coughs> yeah. Alright. I hear you. We'll go with three hay bales for now. And these will... Alright, that's a dead corn plant. That's not what I want. <sighs> Can't plant anything, I don't think, yet. We're going to work on that soon, too. I think that's actually in the endurance tree, being able to grow things. We shall see. It's nine, we're gonna go ten, and we'll spend the rest of our time picking up. <gasps> go back to our home base, actually. We're gonna get more corn later, but for the moment, that will do me. The reason why I'm going back to my home base is because if I'm gonna live in here, I'd like to be able to see the ground a little bit better, and if I'm picking up, uh, uh, this fiber off the ground, then, you know, it'll be useful for that reason alone. <coughs> yep, here we go. Alright. Kind of want more hay bales, but for now... Yeah, that's not what I meant to punch. I want to punch. That's the biggest problem in these kinds of games. Misclicks. They ruin all sense of, uh... The hay bale doesn't actually make you, um... What's the word I'm looking for? 
doesn't solve your problem, by the way. Like, you still have the issue. It used to be you could fall from any height onto a hay bale and you would be alive. And that was the wrong way to do this. Because I won't be jumping from that direction. <coughs> All right, now we'll see how you get back up. Sad part is there won't be a quick way to get back up. But it's about as foolproof as it gets. Plus, if you run out of room going in one direction, you can always just alternate back and forth. Pick it up down there, put a lace it right there. Uh, there you go. Well, Alright, we got one last thing to do, really. We're going to be living up here tonight, and then I don't think I'm going anywhere. <coughs> really, really wish I'd managed to kill some animals on the way here. Not that there weren't options, you just didn't take them. Alright, we're going to put this cooking pot right there, for now. Which allows us to... We got wood? Yes. I think I can make... How much is that going to be? It's a minute. Not what I wanted. Well, that worked too. All right, so there is no main way up here, but we are going to. Oh, it's gonna get fucking dark tonight, though. Usually, I will have at least hoped to have found. All right. Usually by now, I will have uh, found a uh, mining helmet, even a crappy one, which allows me to work during the day. Oh, wait a minute, I'm hitting the wrong one, aren't I? Yep. Now I just get away from my stamina to regen. I need to eat something. The stamina bar is now tied to your fullness level, so the fact that I haven't eaten in a while is, uh... And I don't need to do this, I don't think, but I don't feel like taking the chance. And this way I don't have to destroy that dumpster. That's my main worry. I'm worried something's going to jump on that dumpster and then somehow cross-jump over. Like, yeah, I think I can do the rest of it from actually the top. Yeah. And I'm doing this in the light so that I can actually fucking see. And we're not going to use... No, oh, that's just me. I'm hungry. About to do something stupid. So, I have two of them. For whatever reason, they decided to make it so they canned food. We're going to keep that for now. They decided to make it so that canned food would... Um, have a chance to give you food poisoning. It's a small chance, but it's still a chance, and I'm probably going to pick it up if I keep eating this. Now, this makes more sense, getting food poisoning from the cat and dog food. Um, why not? What's the worst that could happen? I just told you. Food poisoning. <coughs> it doesn't look like I picked it up. I would have said uh, you're starting to feel something coming on, but it didn't, didn't pop up. <sighs> Stamina regeneration starting to kick in a little bit more. Yep, we're doing good. In fact, let's go ahead and crouch down. It's not going to help much, but... Yep, I'm hitting the right thing. Let's just keep my mouse in this, in this location. Normally I'd be using wooden frames to get back uh, to get down and back up, but since I've got these rebar frames, 
I might as well use them for something. Alright, that's the entirety of that ladder gone. Now, we have one more thing to do, which is drink some of this fucking water, I think. Mm, looks like our stamina's recovered a bit. Actually, we're going to drink this as we're mining. Since it actually gives us uh, a certain amount of stamina back, it makes sense to drink it when your stamina is low, even if you are, you know. Go ahead and let it go up on its own. I don't know how, the, how much my hydration is below the... I'm pretty sure I'm going to break this iron. Okay, well, we'll wait. Whatever. I don't want to over drink. I'm going to need that water for some cornbread in a little bit. And if I can pick up some uh, meat off of an animal, I can mix it with the eggs that I picked up so far and have some bacon and eggs, which is a good starter meal as well. That corn that I picked up, actually, that reminds me. Do I still have it on me? Yes. Recipes. Might as well do this now. Because this is... I don't remember. It sure is satisfying. I think cornbread's better than corn on the cob. Or at least it was in the old version. Don't know if it still is. The important part is that we're going to be able to live through the... Um, what, what's it called? The nighttime. So, go ahead and... When nighttime hits, I'm probably... Do I have wood on me? Yes. So anyway, I can hop off here onto those um, hay bales that I... Come on, really? One more. Oh, it's broken. <laughs> That's funny. Let's just go ahead and do this. As a waste of a perfectly good whatever, but we're not really worried about it right now. Ladder. And I'm about to show you something that you, even if you've played this game before yourself, might not know about the hardware store. There is a secret extra room. Um, not meant to be used as a room, I don't think. It's just, this is above the bathroom. There's two... Uh, tall wide area here and there's a one wall a one tile wide tall not wide area over here which can't be really used for anything I could store some chests up here or whatever but um <clears throat> yeah this is a nice little and it's in a stone I mean this is very uh, what's the word I'm looking for yeah doesn't matter it's a very secure location because it's up high you know I've taken the ladder down already now, here's the big problem I have. I kind of need to pick some of this stuff back up and move it. So anyway, uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. I'm not entirely sure this is actually useful for anything, so we'll find out in a little while. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, if you want to support my content on Patreon, you can go to patreon.com forward slash dsumerian. And uh, please subscribe to this channel, hit the notification bell, and you can see more. Next week, we'll talk about, uh, well, SCP writing all over again. This is just me having some fun. Peace out.